call the Irishman call. When I was a little child, we had a playroom, and that's where I would go paint and sing, listen to records. And my mother once describing me at play at age three. Jane sings happily to self while painting. <laughs> and, um, you know, it's just been my, my sacred space from the get-go. So um, there's just this thing about making things, and I remember melting all my crayons on this little stove and just being overjoyed by this puddle of magenta crayon and the gorgeousness of the color. And, you know, it was just um, a, a way to play with with one's senses and respond to the fantastic natural world around us. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, without, without, without it being sullied by thought, you know, just doing it. It was just, you know, making these things and singing along and just in the most unselfconscious ways. So improvising. Improvising, yeah. There's something about not being self-conscious about it. You know, you're not, you're not, it's almost like you're not even there in a way. When it's not working, what do you do well, to get yourself out of it, to get to a different space? And... Well, as a professional artist, you know, you have to, there's a fair amount of taking care of business, so um, if I'm really stuck, I'll just go do an hour or two of bookkeeping, and by that mm. point I'm dying to get back to making something. <laughs> um, you know, then I don't feel as stuck, you know, or even if I am, who cares, you know. Yeah, because it's in, in contrast, it's so much more fun. <laughs> yeah, right, yeah. right. Even on a bad day, it's more fun. But, you know, those bad days um, lead to the good days. So, mm. and I seem to be someone who has to invent the wheel every time. You know, you would think as a professional artist, and having been one for a very long time at this point, that you wouldn't have to go back to step one all the time. But I seem to be one of those people who does a lot. I, I tend to remember what I know as I go while, while doing it. You know, the more you do it, the more you realize you know. Mm -hmm. But um, if I haven't been painting for a while, I have to go through making some really horrible paintings before it starts all the coordination and the seeing and the feeling and everything starts working together. Mm. So if, if I'm off on a painting trip, the first few days are just warming up. You know, and the first couple of paintings they do are so awful, I think, God, why did I ever want to do this in the first place? <laughs> um, but, you know, then something starts working, and then a little bit more starts working, and, you know, then you get in the flow. It's all about getting in that flow. Mm -hmm. And once you get in it, the longer you can stay in it, the better. On a, on a good day or a good night, the ego just goes away. <laughs> <laughs>